out for a player whose stocks have risen this season and, and has, has finished finishing the season a better player than they started. Do you think there are other players in this team with that kind of set of and also who they do? I'll be honest, I don't really want to single out players, good or bad. Um, I, I don't believe at any stage, at any point, I, I would do that. Um, obviously, I appreciate and value the the importance of Harry's season, the goals he scored, the performances. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and praise and criticise any of our players. Yeah, it's a great game. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I hope my players are looking forward to it too. It's going to be intense, um, like it always is at Ellen Road. There's a lot riding on it. Um, and I think I'll I'll get a feel and understanding in the first sort of five or so minutes, probably how the game's going to go and what, what we can do and how we can use it to our advantage. Um, because ultimately, they have to win the game. Um, we need to be clever and um, and use that to our advantage. Well, listen, I've made it very clear that if if anyone isn't up for the fight and don't want to don't play in this type of game, then it's probably best we don't play with them because it's going to be it's going to be an intense game. You have to be ready like it is is every single week. Um, absolutely every single week in the Premier League. So, yeah, that's the case. Thanks, Tom. Adrian. I think everything. Um, honestly, I think everything, whether that's a, a cleaner, a groundsman, members of staff, players here, coaches here, um, need to be committed to this football club. It's a massive football club. Um, it's huge. And it's an honour to work here. It's an honour to play here. I've played here. Um, I felt that pride when, whenever I put on the shirt. And for anyone who's lucky enough to, to represent us next season, first of all, they need to be committed to the football club. And then, of course, going forward, there there needs to be, yeah, a commitment to to a certain way and an identity, a philosophy of how how we want to work and operate. Have you felt that's been an issue, possibly with the squad, maybe that uh, have you felt that, that that maybe not being there from some? No, not necessarily. Like I, I said a minute ago, it's probably difficult at times when, yeah, you have different ideas of working and different ways of playing. For some players, it can be tough to adapt um, naturally. But I think when you're, yeah, when you when you stick to something over a period of time, then you probably have um, an easier transition for players coming in and coming out because you know what they should look like. Tom. Yeah, of course, I, I see the value in that, um, definitely. Um, but, but like I said, ultimately, decisions on players are probably going to be made in pre-season. So we've got a lot of lone players coming back. It's, it's a big squad. Um, so those decisions, I think, for a manager, a head coach, I think you need time on the grass. You need, you need to be around the players to feel what players are like um, and how you want to work and, and, and who fits the way of thinking. Yeah, I, I really believe in in who I am, um, what I do, what me and my team do. I have belief, um, like I'm sure every head coach or every every manager does. Um, yeah, but I think this this spell, this recent spell, this this period of time has has definitely confirmed it. Of course. Definitely, um, as a player that's come through the academy that, that really fills the club inside of them, it's difficult. Um, yeah, I speak on behalf of our fans as well and everyone associated with the club who, who loves and cares about this club. It's It's been a tough season, it really has. Um, it's been 
a disappointing one. And it's important now that we bounce back and, and make sure we can um, get that good feeling back. No, I mean, these are all like hypothetical things, really. And I'm not sure that maybe these people you might be mentioning, I don't know who because I've not really been looking at the press and, and these types of things. But if their name's out there, they're not exactly moving themselves away from it. They know it's a big club um, and they know that if Tottenham and their name is being linked, then it's a massive positive for them. Um, so... It's a big club, we know it is. Every manager, every coach knows this is a big club. Players do, fans do. You can feel it. You can really feel it when you're here, when you're in our stadium. So this will stay a big club um, and it's going to be attractive for, for whoever's in charge next season. Um, and I'm sure players as well will want to come here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I, I think these discussions will happen in the summer and I'm sure they'll happen relatively quickly about that type of thing. Um, can't speak in terms of other managers because every situation is diff different. Um, but of course, I, I enjoy seeing young English managers in this country doing well. Um, probably a public perception that overseas managers are better. Um, but I don't believe that is the case. I really don't believe that. Um, so yeah, I, I back myself, I back my team, I back how we, how we work and, and what we do. So yeah, I'm sure in the summer um, and the next couple of weeks, there's gonna be conversations and decisions to be made. No, we, we've, as a football club, we, we've never really done that. I, I don't know whether you see, but we do our presentation on the, the pitch on the last home game of the season. And as a player, that was, that was always the case. Um, and even so now, that's, that's still the case. Yeah, I, I think the biggest positive will be um, the future. And if we're clever, if we do it right, then I think we'll look back on this season and say, do you know what, it was tough, it was disappointing, but ultimately it, it made us realise um, what we want to be, who we are, um, what our history, our DNA probably suggests we are what our fans want, fans demand. Um, and hopefully there's a connection very soon where we look back and say, do you know what? Disappointing season, absolutely yes, but it helped us, it helped us. It hurts him, um, it hurts everyone committed um, to this club and everyone who really cares and wants this club to be successful. One thing I will say is he's spent money, he's tried, he's, and I, I just think ultimately he's probably been let down by other people. Um, but that's football, uh, that happens. Um, and hopefully we can get things right. Um, 
quickly, make good decisions, and it can turn around. Thanks, Darren. Finish with George, please. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still only young. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think as a player, um, I was always someone who was like intense, um, quite high tempo, run a lot, aggressive. Um, and I think at the moment it's really tough to get all those things into my team after working with them for four or five weeks. I really believe that there's been spells in games where I've been I've been very very happy. You know, I, I look back at that Brentford game and. You know, I've I've been a Tottenham fan for a long time. I've been involved in the club a long time, and I can't remember a first half where I felt that feeling where we were creating chances and our our attacking players were were so involved and they felt so alive in the game. Um, so that pleased me. That made me happy because as someone watching it from the side and I still understand the situation, the current situation in the club and the fans, but. I think on another day they they would have maybe gone wow that that was exciting that was that was really good I enjoyed that but ultimately we'll only remember the scoreline in the second half because a game of football's 95 minutes it's very tough to try and get these boys to play that way for 95 minutes and we probably needed to be 2-0 up at half time and then could have managed the game a little bit differently to to get us through and I think that Last time in the spell, I think there was times in games where it was quite similar um, and we got an extra goal and you could manage the game differently. But if it was Tottenham I'm talking about, um, I like high tempo. Um, I want the ball. I, I want to I see a team that, that can connect with our fans and the history of our club because we have a certain and a special history here. Like every other club, they've got their own history and the DNA. And I think Tottenham historically has always been a club High tempo football, um, exciting, brave, aggressive. And I think our best years, our best results have probably come off the back of playing that way. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. I really believe so. Yeah, I believe so. Um, it's in six games, four and a half, five weeks. Um, well, maybe four weeks because... We got it a couple of days before the United game, a couple of days after the Newcastle game, and we we went into Man United and Liverpool, uh, two games in maybe three days off the back of a 6-1 loss. Um, so you can probably understand from the outside the, the feeling, the confidence of the players in that moment. Um, so yes, of course, uh, like I say, when you when you create something really good, you need a little bit of time. Um, ideally a pre-season but we've seen in recent seasons in the Premier League that managers have gone into clubs um, and it's took them a little bit of time to, to get it right but if you're committed to that way and you really believe in that way um, then I think it can be successful. No not really because that that situation's out of my control. Um, the only thing I could control was was the time. I, I think, obviously, sitting here now, disappointed at the results. I, I think in the summer, I, I will look back and be bitterly disappointed at the results um, because I, I really expected more and wanted more. Um, but like I said five minutes ago, it's given me more belief in what I am, what my team are, the people I have around me that... Wherever we are in the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years, I've, I've got a lot of time on my hands and I've got a lot of time to, to grow that we'll do good. I don't know. Um, but I just think going forward, that's really important. It's important for any club. So... Yeah, that's that's probably the first thing we, we need to address and then then we can speak about all the other things. And this isn't just about the, the first team squad. This is honestly uh, this my belief is this is this is everyone. Everyone that's associated with this club. 
um, members of staff and I think that translates to fans as well. Um, absolutely everyone that's associated with this football club. No, I probably have to honestly answer this one quite good. Probably got me at the end of a 45 minute press conference. <laughs> um, <laughs> crap. Um, <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, we, we haven't won an away game since what, February, um, January. Conceded what, 60 plus goals this season. So this isn't, this isn't something that's just happened in recent weeks. Um, obviously we were left in a position in the league table that's probably false in terms of other teams had games in hand um, and when you level them out I think maybe the first game against United I, I don't know we might have been seventh in the table so there's a lot of things that probably false but listen I, one thing I will say is that I respect everyone that I've worked with I've learned a lot of a lot of people um, but at the same time I'm my own person I've got my own people and, and how I believe not only this club but any football club that I'm at in the future should work and should operate. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <clears throat>